Hey everyone, Zach Minard here. Um, I just wanted to talk about uh, a couple things that I, I've seen. Um, that is the plan is dead, you know, on uh, Anthony Fantano's uh, second YouTube channel. Uh, he has three. Um, he, he took all the videos off. He took the whole channel down. None of the videos are even there. His other two channels are still okay, do not worry. But that channel's gone. And simply it's because of it can't make money. YouTube will not let it make money. And and this leads on to a bigger problem, you know. This leads on to a huge problem with YouTube nowadays. A huge problem that large content creators are facing. And everyone talks about it, but that's all it really is. It's just people talking about it. There's no really solution to it. Now, this big thing with the YouTube apocalypse, it is real. It is still happening today people are still complaining about it. if this whole channel being taken down isn't evidence enough for you i think i think that i don't know what it will be because this this is a big deal you know it's just been a constant drop for youtube just how how it handles its business how it treats its people its creative people um i think youtube doesn't understand its market as well as it thinks it does. I think it kind of... It, it focuses on such a weird niche of YouTube that may be somewhat popular, popular enough to advertise on, especially. It makes a lot of money, the, the creators they focus on. But those aren't really the backbone of YouTube. I think the big backbone of YouTube, you know, the people that that everyone goes to see all the time, that they're subscribed to, that get a lot of... The, uh, traffic on the website. I don't think they're being as um, respected as they should. And I don't think YouTube realizes what they're doing. And these are the people usually they're getting hit with demonetization most. And it's hurting their career. It's hurting their livelihood to the point where YouTube may not be a suitable career for them anymore. They have to move on. They may even just completely leave channels untouched and that just leaves a lot and it, it it's very painful to see this especially because youtube has no alternatives it doesn't have anyone any any competition it kind of does what it wants because it can't no one's gonna no one's gonna go up and be like oh youtubers can come here because this is a better place for them no there's no one there are, there are other hosting sites for videos but they're n not nearly as big as youtube it's not even a competition and it's, it's basically youtube has this monopoly on everything and some of these other companies that are trying to do things i know yahoo tried to do things uh amazon i believe tried to do things they just don't understand the the spirit of a, of the youtube creator you know youtube a youtube creator can't be put inside like an office building, it can't be made in a boardroom. It it's just a person. They come on and they have something to say, and they say it, and it, it's not, it grows and grows into this huge endeavor. That's how a lot of the great YouTubers started, especially the the real early adopters of YouTube. That's how that's how they became on here, and it's proven, um, it's proven countlessly, especially with the YouTube Red things, that when you put these creators in a bunch of shackles and, and you kind of make them go a certain direction, they may not excel at or want to go, that it doesn't make good content. You know, forcing Smosh to make a movie, that's not good content. Forcing other people to make shows, that's not good content. The only good content that came out of that was the Vsauce show, and that's because it was just a Vsauce episode but with a little more production on it. It was about the same length as some of the newer ones. But YouTube just doesn't understand how to do it. And then it's easy to say that it's just for money. That's all they really want. That's all they're really going after is, is cash. And they are a business, so I can't understand that. But they keep pushing this so close to the edge. Eventually, it's going to fall off. And eventually, they're going to regret everything that's happened. Because a lot of different creators are really feeling it and eventually they're just going to jump ship i know um that, that is the plan youtube channel you know it's not his main youtube channel you know he has two other channels 
And I can understand that's sort of an executive decision. It's like, this isn't doing that good money-wise. So I'll just throw it off. But where where will it end, you know? Like, what if he gets rid of another channel? What if his main channel goes away? He just goes straight to his website. What if another creator you like, they just end? Like, I put a lot of problems out here, but there aren't really any solutions. I think the only big solution, and it probably won't happen, is that a large majority of the YouTube market needs to jump over to another another place. But I don't see that happening. And if it were to happen, it would have to be a very well orchestrated, very um very uh well set up move for a large majority of very influential people to go to another marketplace to try to make money off of that as well. And um it's it's just really sad. It's just it's just upsetting. We are seeing a little bit of better things from things like Patreon and Kickstarter. They are other ways for YouTubers to make money. And it is good to see that. And it's also good to see other YouTubers branching out a little bit, going on passion projects to make a little bit of money, you know, making games, making books, making um their own featured films maybe, you know, but not shackled in like YouTube, not like that Smosh movie. Like actually them taking the lead because that's what people want to see they want to see those creators especially people that have those ideas you know people that know what they're doing and they know what they want to accomplish it's just it's just very upsetting to see that state of youtube um i don't know how it's going to end up being we're probably just gonna see it like this slow slow drop for a long time probably like a year until something big happens again and after that, I have no idea what's going to happen. But um, those were just my two thoughts on the whole thing. Uh, rest in peace to the That Is The Plan YouTube channel. I'm going to miss <laughs> the the uh, meme reviews. I'll miss the uh, keep, keep resisting capitalism, baby. I'll miss all those. <laughs> but um, it, we really need to do something. I don't know what, but we need to do something. Thank you.